It's the same scene the world over, and it happens whether a man buses or cycles to work. But Captain Ronald Gilman's one up on the rest of us toilers. No season ticket for him, he's got loftier thoughts. Maybe I forgot to mention it, but Captain Gilman's a BEA pilot. He's put in over 6,000 hours in the air. What more natural for him than to fly to his work? But what more surprising than to find him doing it in a 22-year-old biplane? It's vintage, right enough. They say he built it in his garage from spare parts belonging to a couple of Avroavians. What makes it go, only Eddie Hewitt knows, but it's quicker than a bus, comfier than a train, more up-to-date than a stagecoach, and it does get him there. Denham to London Airport in 10 minutes, more or less. It's the one sure way of saving time by putting the clock back. Chocks away and she's off, or will be in a moment. complicated outlook from an open-air perch. That's what our veteran flyers demanded and that's what they got. Captain Gilman ought to know, he's chairman of the Vintage Aeroplane Club. A 47-seater Elizabethan awaits as our veteran taxis in. They'll accommodate almost anything at London Airport. Captain Gilman's a pilot instructor and he's going to take the Elizabethan up, but first he'll report for briefing. It's a striking illustration of the advances which have come in 20 years. Very different, this, from the simple layout of his private vintage cockpit. No need for goggles and hood and a less drafty perch, but it's just not done to call the control column a joystick. The same old signal, the same old response, and that just about sums the whole thing up. <laughs> 